Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are working on the project right now, the project right, travel app project, right? So here we have designed this page now and we have added this page now in all of our routes. Now it's time for us to design this one. So how we can design this one? We have already learned about the CSS styling in our uh, React course. So we have seen about the different ways how we can style the React app. So one of the uh, important one which we will be using more often is the CSS modules. So let's try to design this one using the CSS module. So for the CSS module in order to implement the CSS module, every component will be having their own perspective CSS. So that means this is the page now component and this page now component will be having the corresponding page now dot module dot CSS. So here how we will be try trying to recreate. So we will be creating it something like page now dot module dot css so that's it so now the css whatever you are trying to write so this will be applied only to the elements that are available in this component so the same elements if it is present in other components the styles which you are trying to write in the css will not be applied so this is the main fund up behind this one so here what i can do is <coughs> what i will try to do is so this is our nav right let's try to take the nav and I will apply the background color for this one orange or anything okay so this is our background color and in this dot nav dot ul I want to apply display flex okay and here I will try to apply justify content space between so I will apply this one so these are the, this is the CSS which I am trying to apply now I want to apply this CSS to this nav bar so for this one what we need to do is first we need to import this CSS so here how we can import it as we already discussed so import styles okay so from and here from dot page now dot module dot CSS so this is very important module should be there now these styles we can directly apply for this one class name is equal to styles dot nav so this is the class name which i want to apply now if you try to see here automatically orange color stripe has been applied and the nav bar in this nav bar you will be able to have this all the css right so now you will be able to apply now you will be able to get this all the things now if you try to see here if you inspect element and if you try to see here in the console not in the console in the elements if I try to show you the inspect element here for this nav class so instead of having this nav class so for example here I have applied CSS for the dot nav so that means instead of applying dot nav class to here a random id unique id has been applied to this one underscore nav underscore this one so this one is unique to this component so now for example if you try to use somewhere else the uh, if any nav is there means so this type of id will not be applied I will try to show you one demonstration for this one so what I will try to do is in our pages I will create a new layout uh, let's example let's say that app layout dot jsx so this is our app layout export default function app layout okay this is our method and here we will be having in such a way that return due okay in this one due app layout i will write something like app layout so this is our app layout thing and let's create the and app.jsx one route for this one so for this one what i will do is so this is dummy thing which i want to show you route path is equal to app and i want to load the element is equal to app layout okay so this is our app layout and this should be something like app layout okay and here also we need to close it now whenever the user tries to open the slash app so now you will be able to see the app layout fine now I will create in the same like page now I will create an another one that is nothing but an app now okay app now dot jsx and here also we will be having export default function app now and here we will be also having same thing now okay and here also I will be having an UL and here also I will be having an LI and in this one we will be having a link to is equal to slash and here I will write home 
okay so this is our code now this is our code so this is our app now now in our app layout i want to add the page now okay so the page now which we will get an orange border and also i want to add the app now also okay so app now i will try to add it now if you try to see here we are able to get a home right now there is no css that has been applied now if you try to see here so for this inspect element you will be able to see for this now you will be having a unique id and for this now we don't have any any class now for example let's say that for this now i will create a new one that is nothing but app now dot module dot css and if i try to write dot now and here i will apply the background color of purple okay so just i will try to implement it like this only now let's go into our app now dot module right so let's remove this jsx app now oh sorry app now dot jsx so this is our file and here in this one let's import from uh, what i can say app now dot module dot css so here i can input i can import the now and i can implement class name is equal to now so you can write it like this so that the purple color will be able to apply it here so if i inspect element and if i try to show you so this now has a unique id underscore now underscore so if you try to see and here now we will be having a unique id and if you want you can also write something like styles which we have seen it and here you can write the styles dot now so then also the same output will be written so this is how the css will be unique to the components if you try to implement the css module so this is what i want to explain to you now for example let's say that we are having in the index.css right so this is our index.css and if i go to the main.jsx or anything so directly we are importing this index.css so that means this css is a global css now whatever the css you will be writing here it will be applied to all the components elements available in this one so here i can do something like star and box sizing border box so whatever the common css is there you can be able to write it here and here i can write the body so margin 0 pixel okay and we will be able to get it like this and padding 0 pixel also you can keep it so that we can able to so now like this we can write now this one will be applied to all the css now this is what i want to explain you now you may be having one doubt let's say let's example let's simply let's say that i am going to the home page this is our home page let's click on this home page okay this is our home page and this home page let's say that we are having an h1 and i want to implement class name is equal to test so now so for this one test class name is equal to test what happened to this one okay h1 okay so this is our h1 tag now now this css for this h1 tag is present in the page now okay so page nav dot module dot css so here in this one you are having now for example let's say that we are having dot test so dot test color red okay let's assume now the test the css for this one test is is there in the page nav dot module dot css which is indicated to this component but here in the home dot jsx file we are having this class name test so the css which is present in another component or another module page now dot module dot cs and the element which is present in the another component so the css should be applied so in this scenario how we can do it for example let's say if you try to see the inspect element here and here you are having a test only directly you are not having any unique id like this which the module will be implementing so in this scenarios so if you want to implement this test means then you need to tell to the module dot css so this is a global one how can I tell that this CSS is a global so that the unique ID will not be applied to this class name. So for this one what we need to do is so here we will be having a special keyword that is nothing but colon global. Okay so you need to wrap it with the global keyword here. Now the CS now the react will be able to understand that okay so this test will be an unique one so, sorry it's a global one so I want to I don't want to apply unique ID to this one. So normally it will be with the dot test and if you try to see here the red color has been applied to this home page in the same scenario for example let's say that i am in the product page so now the product page automatically has the active class appended to this one so now i want to apply the css for this active so what can i do here 
so this is present in the nav bar page nav dot component and this page nav has a separate module dot css now for this one what i can do dot nav insert dot active then i want to apply background color green or anything so just i want to show you the example now if you try to see here when i click on this home page so this is not in green color product is also is not in green color why it is not applying green color again the same thing you need to understand that this class active has been applied globally so there is no unique id to apply to this one but here when you try to use it in a module.css this active class automatically the cs the js will be applying an unique identifier random id to this one so i don't want to apply random id to this one then what you need to do here i need to apply global of active okay so like this we need to apply now immediately the red color has been applied to this one so in this way we will be implementing the css modules in our react js i hope you understood about this concept so what i will try to do is i will create a new branch and i will commit this entire code video hyphen 123 and this concept is all about the css modules and i will commit this entire code and i will publish this branch also so whoever may be having doubts or anything so if you want to refer this code the github repository url is provided in the description below so you can have a take a look at this one and if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you